Well, it's been nearly three years since COVID-19 reared its ugly head to the world, and we're getting used to living with it. But as Ken's Five's Jeremy Baker reports in today's Healthy SA, COVID numbers are on the way up. We are in the middle of the winter COVID wave as many traveled for the holidays, spent more time with people and much of it indoors, making the virus easy to pass. Lack of vaccinations and a very infectious variant are fueling the wave as well. What we're seeing now, the predominant variant that's circulating in the United States is called JN.1, which is you know, letters and numbers, but it's very different from the XBB variants that we've been experiencing for really months and months beforehand. That variant makes it more transmissible, but the symptoms no more severe. A lot of the symptoms it causes are similar to the, the symptoms that we've seen before in the past with the prior COVID variants. In early 2020, COVID symptoms were typically a fever or chills, a cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue and muscle or body aches. As the virus has morphed into new variants, COVID symptoms have also changed, with many suffering from nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, which may make people think it's just a stomach bug. Even though this is a respiratory illness, there are some people that have more GI symptoms or kind of stomach bug type of symptoms. Local health experts say getting tested and treatment if you have severe COVID are musts. There are boosters available and that there is treatment if you have COVID. There are several different treatments that will help decrease your duration of symptoms and prevent you from getting severe COVID. Dr. Bowling also told us there's quite a bit of a track record with the COVID vaccine. So since we know this vaccine fairly well at this point, it is still the most effective way to prevent getting severe infection if you do contract the illness. Jeremy Baker, Ken Spot.